Hello drummers and other humans, it's me Joe again and I'm back with another video about the table of time. Yes, it goes on. This time we're going to look at playing grooves and fills counting the four basic subdivisions that we've learned in the other videos in this series. The intention of these exercises is to help you develop a really strong sense of the main subdivisions that you'll use every day as a rock or pop or jazz drummer. That means knowing quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets and sixteenths and being able to play and count along to a click. To do these exercises, you need to be pretty good at counting the table of time. Quarters, one, two, three, four, eighths, one and two and three and four and triplets, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, and sixteenths, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. The exercise involves picking one of our subdivisions to use as a groove and then working through the other subdivisions as fills. And at first we're just going to play, say, one bar of our groove and one bar of whatever fill we want to do. So uh, let's just take it uh, easy and play eighth notes as a groove, one and two and three and four and. And then we're going to try each of the subdivisions as a fill. Okay, it looks something like this. Show, don't tell. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Two and three and four and one. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. Two, three and four and one. Two, three, four, one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three. Four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and, and so on and so on. Okay? So the idea here is to work on one subdivision and practice playing all of the subdivisions as fills. And uh, if you're not used to doing this, try just playing the fills on the snare to start with, and then you can start moving your hands around the kit a little bit. Yeah, the, the very basic thing is with the snare. Let's, let's do a, a, an example of that. Let's use the triplets as my groove. Two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, Three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two, three and four and one and a two and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two, three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a tricky transition one and a three and a simple one, two, three. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four and two and a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and so on and so on. Okay, so take those um, grooves and learn how to play with each subdivision. And again, you can kind of arrange the exercises anyway that you like. You could just focus on playing uh, different subdivisions as your groove and sticking with one subdivision for your fill and getting used to that. You want to get really comfortable moving between the various time fills. Right, once you're comfortable playing one bar groove and one bar fill, we're going to move on and start playing three bars of groove with one bar of fill. Okay, and that will make you focus a little bit more on the timing 
of the groove and you have to really then transition to whichever uh, timing you're playing your fill in, make it sound smooth, which can be quite challenging at times, especially like moving between sixteenths and triplets and triplets and sixteenths. Uh, that can be fun and games. Let's see how it goes. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of this. So I'll play a sixteenth note groove and uh, then I'm going to play quarter note fill, uh, then I'm going to play eighth notes, then triplets, then sixteenths in the same uh, fashion. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two. Two e and a three e and a four e and a three e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a two e and a three e and a four. Three e and a two e and a three e and a four. Three and a four e and a two e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Three and a four e and a two. Two e and a three e and a four. Oh, dry throat. And a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. That's that. You might find that once you get to playing three bars of groove and one bar of fill, the counting gets a bit annoying. So certainly for the groove bit, you can drop the counting, but make sure you keep listening to yourself really carefully. For the last part of this exercise, we're going to start mixing up the subdivisions in a fill. I'm gonna go back to playing one bar of groove and one bar of fill. Let's start with the uh, eighth note groove. And uh, to mix up the subdivisions, uh, you can improvise it, but at first you might wanna decide a pattern and play that a few times before you start mixing it up. So if you find you're having any difficulty in just spontaneously playing a different uh, combination of subdivisions, um, just decide a pattern and stick with that for a little while and then you can try and change it a little bit. So, um, I don't know, let's go like this. One and two and a three e and a four and. Okay, so get the click on. One, two, three. Eighth note B, one and two and three and four and one and two and a three e and a four and one, two and three and one and two and a three e and a four and one. Move it around the kit. Four and one and two and a three e and a four and one, two and three and four and one and two and a three. And three and four and one, two and a three e and a four and one, two, three and four, one and two and a three e and a four and one, two, three, four, one and two and a three e and a four and one. Okay, now let's start improvising a bit. One and two e and a three and four and a one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three and a four e and a one, two, three, four, one and two and three and a four and a one, two, three, four, one e and a two e and a three e and a four and one, two. Doesn't matter what you do. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two. Just get really comfortable with everything. One e and a two e and a three e and a four and one, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four e and a one, two, three and so on and so on. I hope that makes sense. Once you get the hang of that, go to three bars of groove and one bar of the fill and, and mix it all up. Okay, uh, if you've started to get the hang of that, you can start playing, I don't know, two bars of groove, two bars of fill, or you can play four bars of groove and play a four bar solo. Just mixing up all the subdivisions. Stick with the click and just, you know, develop a little bit of awareness of how each one of these subdivisions feels. Thanks a lot for watching this as always. I hope you found something useful here. Let me know if your timing's improved after doing these exercises. Don't forget to comment, to like, to subscribe, and most importantly, 
don't forget to go and practice.